What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Chris and today we're going to give you a full tour of this brand new home right here in Hidden Hills. This brand new masterpiece we are checking out today features a total of five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, 10,688 square feet of interior space and is currently priced at $14.9 million. Let's go check it out. One of the most prestigious gated communities in all of Los Angeles, Hidden Hills, guys. This neighborhood has a very ranch style, equestrian like feel, and this is a modern farmhouse behind us that we're gonna check out. You can see the driveway on the opposite end of your grass. Landscaping here in the center leads all the way up to a four car garage. And before we go inside, I do wanna thank all of the listing agents involved for letting me tour their incredible listing and EGC Real Estate Group, the developers of this beautiful property. But now let's just go check it out. All right, we have made it inside this beautiful brand new home here in Hidden Hills. We arrived through this large French pivot door. It's gotta be about 12 feet high up there. And this is your grand entrance room. You have a nice table in the center to greet us and then a light fixture right above in the middle. But you do get a view all the way into the backyard, all the way into the pool as this hallway just laces through the home. We're gonna start going to the left little area of the house. Well. Not really a little area, this place is massive. This space is massive. You can see the scale on every single room and hallway in this house is very large. You have a few French windows looking out into the front yard landscaping and then this massive oversized window with a little window sill to sit down bordered by these wood finishes looking out onto the driveway there. But this is the office space, staged as an office. You can even make it maybe an in-law suite, but you have window doors, so maybe you wouldn't want anyone to look in here. But it is definitely big enough to be a bedroom or whatnot, but follow me across the entryway. Let's check out this formal living room. Now the scale guys, what did I say? It is massive. You can easily fit two, three, maybe even four couches here in this large living room, huge fireplace, these small dark brown wood beams going all the way up to the ceiling, vaulted ceilings with the white beams above, two built-in speakers, recessed lighting throughout, gallery wall to my right, and we are still looking out to the front from here in this space. But keep following me. Let's just go through this entire first level, guys. To my right, floating staircase that'll lead us upstairs. We'll go out there in a sec, but check this out. So much space in here. This house is massive. It's really a good deal here for Hidden Hills. To my left, you can see large wine cellar. You have three doors to enter this temperature controlled wine cellar. They're actually pivot doors. Oh, it's actually pretty cold in here. As I walk in, ooh, on a hot day, it'd be nice to just hang out in there and just take a seat. Relax, but that is a nice display right in this main hallway as you enter the house. And it's directly across from the formal dining room. More gallery walls to the right, recessed lighting, a very small, slender, modern light fixture piece above the dining table. You could probably fit 10, maybe even 12 people here in this large dining room. Built-in speakers, recessed lighting above, and a door that leads into the pantry area, but we're not gonna go through that way. We're gonna wrap around the kitchen and show you what's in there. As we keep moving, just some closet space to my right. Quick peek in there, nothing really to do into that, but let's check out this powder room. So the finishes in here are very unique. First off, you can see this rock pattern, dark black rock pattern going from this ledge up here all the way to the ceiling. You have an oval shaped mirror above your sink, a nice bronze faucet there, and no storage underneath, just a floating sink, countertop space to the left. Private toilet room, two doors to lead into here so you can close off this door while someone else is washing their hands. But that was a pretty standard powder room. And directly in front of the powder room, you can see the staircase to lead upstairs. But now here it is, the open concept, living, family room to my right, kitchen to my left. Let's start in this kitchen over here. Follow me this way. Not one, but two center islands. So this island, first off, has a massive butcher's block elevated as the countertop. You can fit probably five people over here in your breakfast bar seating. And then it drops down to plenty of countertop space. Right next to it, we have the fridge and freezer. Mila appliances throughout, wood paneling into the wall, and the freezer compartment is down below. But this isn't just your only fridge and freezer space. You have more on the opposite side. 
So you have dual Miele ovens right there, eight burner gas stove, and then your secondary. Well, not secondary, because they're both the same. Fridge and freezer, once again, paneled. And then the hood vent above your eight burner gas stove blends so seamless into the wall. Recessed lights, so you can see that beautiful stonework on the backsplash up there. Here's your massive second island with the sink in the very center, right between the islands. So much storage space down here to both sides on these islands. And now, follow me this way, I will walk into this pantry area that I mentioned earlier, into this little butler's, the secondary kitchen. But you have a Mila espresso machine, Mila microwave slash steamer, the same backsplash stonework that we saw on the countertops over there on the backsplash is over here in this secondary kitchen above your sink, beautiful light stone countertops and then more storage space with the light wood finishes throughout. Here is the, the pantry room. Lots of space in here, pretty standard, very modern look to it, very sleek, very simple. And then that door to my right leads right into that dining room. But then let's keep going, finish up in this kitchen. Plenty of countertop space, another sink. You have the one on the island, but then you have this one looking out to the oversized window and beautiful landscaping. Look at all of that greenery. There is so much space here in this house. The house alone is over 10,000 square feet and the lot is massive. You're getting a lot of space here in Hidden Hills. But look up above. I love the more of the light wood finishes in all of the beams above us. So many recessed lights, built-in speakers, space for a breakfast table, dining table, and a pretty massive light fixture above. That is not a cheap light fixture. Definitely spent a good amount of money on that one above your little breakfast table. And then this hangout area right next to another massive oversized window. These windows are huge. The scale of every little thing in this house is just so big, guys. And over here we have French windows lead out to the backyard. More sliders that pocket into the wall. Before we go into the backyard, there's still more to show you on this level. Formal living room, we have fireplace that is on right now, right below flat screen TV on the wall. More of the same stone material that we saw in the kitchen is surrounding your fireplace going up to the ceiling. And this fireplace is symmetrical. As to both sides, you can see the same wood floating shelves. It's a little bit smaller, less space on the left, but on the right, plenty of room to turn this into maybe like a library area or just put photos of friends and family. And then it just opens up and leads us into this space right here. And this space can also be closed off. It's more like an entertainment room, but through this little handle down there below. You have this pocket door. It extends all the way to the end of the wall. Put it inside and it just makes the layout feel even more open. Pool table staged in the center. You can do whatever you want. Maybe you have a ping pong table, pool table, whatever you'd want in this entertainment space. And then this is really cool. It actually opens up to the backyard. This window pockets into the wall there so you can serve drinks or whatnot from this bar area inside to the outside. Honestly, like first glance, I didn't even think that was outside. That seems like you're in the house when you're in here, but it'd be easy to serve up some cocktails to whoever's enjoying the outdoors because you're gonna get sunny LA weather pretty much all year round out here. So why not enjoy the outdoors while you can? But you have a built-in Sub-Zero fridge down beneath, another sink, more floating shelves with LED lights, French doors to lead outside, and just more living room space, more hangout space. This is typically like a lounge area. Like I said, you can close it off, maybe open up the doors, Enjoy that indoor outdoor living that you'll get here in this house. Okay, we are just ready to go outside from that little entertainment space. And here we are, there is just so much room in this backyard. Look at all your grassy space behind me really quick. Plenty of space. First off, we have this built in outdoor fire pit, lots of stage seats around it. You can hang out, enjoy the cool weather by the fireplace, but we're gonna loop all the way around this backyard. You have a giant tree in the center acting as the statement piece here in this backyard. You have some turfed areas to my left to both sides of this walkway. And we go down the steps, so much grassy space. You can have your dogs run around, you can have your kids play over here. You can throw the baseball around, the football around. There's so much room for activities here in your backyard. Beautiful modern pool with the waterfall edge right there, zero edge pool. Wood paneling beneath me, you have your spa, jacuzzi, and then little step down area as well. It's probably about six inches to a foot down beneath. Very easy for the kids or the pets to run around. And look at this, before we go into that covered space, you have a bocce ball area. Now I really don't know the rules of bocce ball, but if someone knows, leave a comment down below. You can maybe teach me and we can, we can play a game of bocce ball over here. But that, that's pretty cool, very unique. Definitely a Hidden Hills type thing that they would have in this community. Lots of day beds, lounge seating right next to your pool. 
And another thing unique, you have some swim up bar seating in your pool here, right next to this covered space. So there's seats in the pool, so maybe you can have a meal, sit down while you're in the pool, or just drink, hang out, and then step up to here. We have this covered patio area in your backyard. It's not a guest house, just, just a covered space. You have a pizza oven right above the fireplace down beneath. That is really unique, al fresco pizza oven. Stonework surrounding the fireplace, goes up to the ceiling in here. Then you have your wolf appliance and your barbecue grill to the right. To the left, you have built-in mini fridge and Nantucket sink right there. And then one last thing out here is let's go around this space back to all of the wood finishes on the floor here. But you do have a bathroom, so you don't have to go all the way. It's, it's about a mile away to get back to the house, guys. You can just walk into this little bathroom here, toilet, sink, lots of countertop space, pretty standard. And you'd probably be saying, where's the shower? There's no, there's no shower in this bathroom, but maybe there actually is. Let's keep going around here. On the back side of the house, you have an outdoor shower, the drain right beneath us. Here is the, the knob for the shower right here. And then there you go. Pretty easy, pretty standard right outside. So if you're in the pool, you don't have to go inside if you need to shower and wash off. But the, the bocce ball court, that's just calling my name right now if I knew how to play. But let's go back inside. We're gonna head past the pool again. Look at how the house looks, guys, from this angle. Imagine just swimming in your pool, looking up at this beautiful modern farmhouse with the black and white exterior, your giant tree in the backyard. It just looks absolutely incredible. And then we'll step up these steps once again. Go under this covered patio space. You have not one barbecue grill all the way at the end, but there is a second one. Also, a Wolf Appliance barbecue grill, dark black stone countertop space over here in this barbecue area, outdoor dining with a light right above, high ceilings and built-in speakers once again over here. And then you have this bar area that we showed you from the inside, but now we're on the outside. So if you were just in your pool, you have a drink at the swim up bar, then you come over here, you can have another drink at your outdoor bar while being served from the inside. You can maybe even have 10 plus bar seats. This is a very large countertop space. So that was everything guys here in your backyard, but now we gotta go back inside. There's a couple more areas down here on this main level to check out before we go upstairs. So follow me past the staircase. You can see the light wood beams that make it look a little bit more open, but it also closes off the staircase. But let's go down this hallway, turn right first and show you this bedroom. So here we go, one of your guest bedrooms. You still have pretty high ceilings in here and a lot of room, enough space to have a seat in front of your queen size bed. Dark wood closet space to my left side. Look at that, you open it up, you get that nice polyester light gray finish in there with all of the drawer space. And then of course, you got your own bathroom. You have absolutely gorgeous countertops here, plenty of space at both sides of your sink. You have a matte black fixture, two modern light fixtures to both sides of the sink. And then here into the shower, these little linear tiles almost look like the East Coast style white brick, but you can get it from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. But let's get out of here and walk across the hall. So the door directly in front of me, this will lead into that garage. And this is a little mud room, a little mud space with a seat. All right, now we're gonna go inside and show you this four car garage that we didn't show you too much of from the driveway, but you have brand new epoxy floors here. And then you have the modern garage doors with the sleek light blue tints on every single one of them. But there's so much space here in your driveway. You can easily fit maybe 12 cars out here or so. Lots of room here in your Hidden Hills front yard. And boom, we're back into where that mudroom area was, that garage door. And then to the left, this is the laundry room. You have Mila washer and dryers throughout, four of them down beneath, so much countertop space, a sink. And then you have your little, your pet shower. It's pretty high, it's probably eight feet high or so. It's one of the bigger pet showers that you will see right there with the same handheld shower head that you're getting in most of the bathrooms in this house. That's pretty cool. And then another thing that's unique, even though this is a brand new home, they went with this custom wallpaper that I don't really know what it is, but the, the owners really wanted to add this somewhere into the house. So they said, why not? Why not just put it in the laundry room? And I think it does add a little bit of character to the house. They don't just make it bland, old, plain, modern white box like you'll see in some of these new homes. But that's a cool feature and it is black and white, so it still matches everything. But let's get out of here. 
And I think we have finally finished everything on this first level. There's a lot to show you guys, I know, with the main level and the backyard, but now we gotta head upstairs. So we're actually not going up that staircase that you just saw, guys. We're gonna go up the main staircase so you can see just the scale and the size of everything here. Super high ceilings, then you have the piano right under the floating wood stairs. But let's just head up here. We have massive oversized French windows to bring in a lot of natural sunlight to this stairwell area you can look out to. Your little dirt path, side yard, your landscaping. You have three light fixtures hanging right above the wood staircase. And then you have all of these couple skylights above and then one more in the very center. Everything is just massive here. And we finally have arrived up to the top level. So this is a little common area right between all the bedrooms. You have one, two, three, and then the primary bedroom in the way back. We'll show you that at the end, but follow me first into this one. So this is a pretty large bedroom. This is bigger than any of the ones that we saw downstairs than the one we saw downstairs already. This is side facing. You do get a glimpse onto the driveway. There's enough space in here, as I said, to put a desk. So here's where your walk-in closet is and something unique about this closet is if you're not tall enough, if you're not an NBA player living in this Hidden Hills house, you can easily reach any of your clothes to hang. I'll show you an example on this one on the left. You bring it down, boom, you hang up your shirts, clothes, whatever, and then goes right back up. Very easy. You don't see that in too many houses. I know I haven't, but that's a good thing to add on for most closets. This is just a random guest bedroom in the house. So let's go into the bathroom. It's a pretty large bathroom. First thing I notice is the stone on the countertops. It had, takes on a rock pattern and you see it also on the backsplash matte black faucet and dark black wood drawers. A nice contrasting tone there. Same light fixtures we've been seeing, light gray tile toilet in the middle, but you guys can see that there is character to each and every bathroom, each and every bedroom in this house. Not one thing is similar. So that is always a plus when putting all the details into these homes and rooms. All right, back out here in the main common area, we're gonna first go right into this room. Similar size bedroom, this one staged with two twin beds so that you can see the size of each. It also does have a walk-in closet, very similar to the last one we saw with the same pull-down racks. You got two of them in here. Look at that. Very convenient, super easy. And then the bathroom, see how different it is. So this bathroom is a little bit more modern than the last one because the countertops look very similar to the countertops that we saw in the kitchen down below, but you still have the same dark black wood drawers. And you finally have a bathtub here built into your shower with the clad on marble stone surrounding it the same tile in a different tone. You have the dark gray tone here in the shower walls. Now it is time to go across the hall. One more bedroom before the primary. Similar size bedroom, not too much to talk about in here, but now we are on the opposite side. Once again, looking at the driveway, closet space, very similar to the last two. Don't really need to go in there. You get a quick shot of it, but here is this bathroom. So this bathroom has almost the exact same finishes as the one that we saw on the same side of the house facing the driveway as well. Same countertops and drawers. The only thing different in here are the shower tiled walls are a little bit different. It's just a little bit different of a look than the one that we saw next to it. But same stone, same shower bench, shower head, and everything. But I know you guys really wanna see the primary. So let's just head in there now. Like I said, this is a grand entrance into your primary suite. First, you have this giant, massive wood pivot door to lead you into the hallway. This is just the hallway of your bedroom. Below me, you have the herringbone pattern on your white oak wood floors. To my right, that's your bathroom. Two closets to my left, and then the bedroom directly in front. I don't even know where to start, guys. There's so much to talk about in here. First off, we have this storage space in your bedroom hallway dark black wood cabinetry above, and then just marble countertops, marble backsplash. If this isn't a luxurious entrance into your bedroom, I don't know what is, but let's just head into both closets first, into this one on the right. I mean, the scale in this closet is huge. This, this center piece, the center island in your closet might as well be a center island in the kitchen. It is of the same marble, if not nicer marble than you'll see in most kitchen countertops. And then you have 
mirror door to lead into some closet space, shoe racks on the left, just more dark wood finishes, contrasts super well with the white marble here in the center, LED lights throughout. You have a linear modern light fixture covering the entirety of the island from end to end, which is nice. You look into some of the closet space and you have another one of those racks that, that you can pull down and reach to very easily in there. You even have it in your primary closet. But let's see how the closet next door is different. All right, so this one is a little bit smaller, obviously, than the last one. There's not enough room for a massive island like you saw, but there's enough room to have a little bench to put on your shoes as there are two shoe racks separating this center with the window doors. You have more mirrored doors that are pretty tall up there and then just space to hang clothes here on the left. Same dark wood finishes as the last one, but is this enough closet space? Probably for most people, maybe not for Kylie Jenner who lives down the street from here, but let's just check out the bathroom right across this hall. All right, so this bathroom is pretty incredible, guys. We're just gonna start end to end over here in the corner. This is where your private toilet room is. There's actually one on the other side that I'll show you. Here's where one of your vanities is. You have the sink in the center. Same marble that we saw on the countertops in that hallway in the backsplash, and then the same finishes in the dark black and marble countertops here, even in your makeup station. But then next to that, freestanding deep soaking tub here in the center with an oversized window. You can bring in some natural sunlight. You can look out to the hidden hills in your neighborhood. And now finally the shower, I get to talk about this one. This is one of the cooler showers that I have seen in a while. First off, the slabs of marble in here are giant and it, you got book match marble here in the center, two rain shower heads up on that marble on the wall and then a smaller one down beneath for the handheld. Large rain shower head above, it's about 12 feet high, marble on the ceiling as well. Plenty of space, the scale in this shower is absolutely huge. Shower bench over on this side, and of course it can act as a steamer as well. You can close it off, shower and steamer. But yeah guys, this is one of the cooler showers that you will see, and this is also a massive piece of glass right here into your shower. But then next to that, Second sink, same finishes, same marble, toilet room right next to it. But now let's get out of here. And you do have double doors to lead into the bathroom alone. But now we gotta check out where the bed is. This bedroom alone is about the same size as a lot of pretty good sized apartments, honestly. There's plenty of space in this bedroom, that hallway, the bathroom for really anyone in the world. And on the left, you have some more storage space, wood countertops, wood floating shelves up above, king size bed here in the center of this area, high vaulted ceilings with the white wood beams, takes on that same style, the traditional style that you'll see out here in Hidden Hills. Then you have built-in speakers, recessed lighting. This is an amazing view, fantastic. You look out into your backyard, all the grassy space, the pool, that was awesome. I can't wait to check out how this video is gonna turn out because this house is beautiful. I'm a big fan of this house in Hidden Hills, especially this community in Hidden Hills. But then it opens up. You have basically a separate room in your room. You can even close this off, maybe put glass walls or something, make it a more private room, turn it into an office, or just keep it as an open living room. You can hang out on this couch, look at your giant tree, look at your backyard, take on the fireplace. I actually can feel this fireplace. It's pretty hot right now. Now I'll just got to step out onto your private balcony here, right off your bedroom, guys. Look at this view. I mean, I absolutely love this backyard. You got your tree again, so much space out here. It is a beautiful day here in Los Angeles, just like every day is. 365 days, you're gonna get this sunshine to live here in Hidden Hills in Calabasas. But that was pretty much everything. Now I kind of want to go back to that backyard, so let's end it there. Thank you so much guys for watching till the very end of the video. If you made it this far and you haven't already, hit the like button, really, I appreciate it. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed, we're posting these tours every single week. Guys, let me know what you think of this house. Absolutely incredible. We are finally back in Hidden Hills, one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in all of Los Angeles. Also, thank you to the listing agents, Gabriella, Bryson Kirby, all of them involved for letting me tour their incredible listing. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.